What is up guys, it's Team Ty here today. Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War 2 video. Now before I start the video, smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video and subscribe if you are new. But anyway, let's get right into today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2 and early gameplay leaks. Is this finally the end of early gameplay leaks? Yesterday when this video is being uploaded, people started to get early copies of World War 2 and everyone was embracing for leaks to come left and right, especially for zombies. I was constantly refreshing the zombies, ready to see gameplay. But then something unfortunate happened. I'm not going to show it because I can still get a strike for showing early gameplay. But someone that got an early copy of World War II tried getting into the game. But was stopped by an error saying you have to connect online to download a patch in order to play. But the thing is, there was no patch. People started looking for ways to bypass this but with no success from what I've seen. So there really hasn't been any leaks regarding Call of Duty World War II. But if I gotta be honest, I'm relieved. While I was waiting for gameplay leaks because I wanted to see what the final rank looked like because we haven't really seen anything zombies related these past few months, I'm still relieved because that way the people who have early copies don't really have that much of an advantage to people who don't have the game early. For example, if someone that is really huge into zombies got in the game early, there could be like Wonder Weapon tutorials the second the game officially comes out, and that hurts for smaller YouTubers like me. Like overall, while I want to see gameplay, I want people to find stuff like Wonder Weapon parts and Easter egg steps together when the game officially comes out. But while people can't play World War II right now, there's still a possibility leaks will come up. Servers for Call of Duty World War II will be going online two to three days before the game comes down, and that's usually a normal thing that always happens and you know every single year with a call of duty so i'm thinking the patch that will allow people with early copies to play the game will be released then so we still might have gameplay leaks but it's not going to be really early on like most call of duties in the past but Sledgehammer is doing stuff right this year. They are really cracking down hard on leaks, starting with not even letting people that have the game early play the game. Since Sledgehammer is doing this, you can expect Treyarch and Infinity War to do this as well. And honestly, I really like this. It, you know, it prevents me from getting spoiled with early gameplay leaks. Even if I want to be spoiled, I honestly really like this idea of the whole like patch thing. Even though the patch will probably be released when the servers go online. I think this is a really good idea for people that are avoiding leaks this year. So for the people that are avoiding, you know, all these Call of Duty World War II leaks, you are safe. Well, at least until the servers go online. That's when everything will probably be spoiled. But that's going to wrap up today's video. Pretty much just a little video discussing my thoughts on this whole little patch thing in order to, you know, play the game. Like, people that have early copies can't even play the game. Like, people spent $400 to get the game early, but they can't even play it. Like, I thought that was pretty funny and I wanted to talk about it in a video. But that's going to be it for today's video. Smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video and subscribe if you are new. Comment down your opinions on this whole little patch idea and how it's preventing these gameplay leaks. But my name is Steven Sanai here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just keep those positive vibes flowing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.